And now the thing I want to show you with the individual item in a grid is that we can do something like justify self. Remember up here we did justify items and align items. But when it comes to individual items, we have to use self. And as you can imagine, if I do self start and I refresh here, we go to the start of the column. If I do align, it's going to go to the start of the row. And if we do end and refresh, again, we see that the same thing is happening. I'm going to leave this file for you as well so you can play around with it. I encourage you to try to create different types of grids and looks that you want. As you can see, it's pretty powerful, but also very, very simple and allows us to create responsive grid systems very, very easily. Now, there's actually a cheat sheet that you can use to summarize everything that I've taught you up until now that I'll link to in this video. It's called the, well, the grid cheat sheet. And it shows you exactly what you need to do for the container. We've learned about grid gap, grid templates, align items, and also what to do with the children, such as grid column, justify self, align self. And it has all these little snippets that you can just click on and copy. So I recommend you play around with some of these properties on your own. Because in the next part, we're going to use CSS Grid to build a complete website layout. I'll see you in that one. Bye-bye.